Hi all, welcome back to my channel, Learn at Cloud Analytics. Today, we will be discussing about the process that would uh, take place while we handle an end-to-end -end Power BI project. So, uh, in this session, we will be discussing about what are the various phases of having a Power BI project being delivered to the end user. So in this uh, requirement, the first and foremost uh, section or the most important task would be on the gathering the business requirement. So this is quite important because based on this phase, we would be able to deliver the required dashboard or the report to the customer. So let's understand how do we gather the business requirement in the right format and ensure that what is expected by the business is actually being delivered at the end of the project. So I often recommend to use the five W's principle in order to uh, get the benefit out of uh, what we actually have the discussion with the business customer and ensure that everything has been captured in the right format. So what is this five W's principle? So in this, we would need to ask the right question to the business to ensure that what is the re real uh, requirement behind this project and we tend to deliver the actual requirement as requested. So out of which some of the questions that could be framed to the business user would be like, what do they need or what do they want to analyze from the given data? Or we could also reframe this question in a way that what is the actual business uh, use case behind this project? The second question could be framed like, who are the consumers of the report would be? Okay, so by asking this question, we would be uh, knowing like uh, to which users or who would be the consumers of this report or the dashboard so that we ensure that the reporting uh, uh, design considerations are being uh, considered in that required format. So we will also talk about what are the different aspects that we would need to cover based on the customers or the consumers of the dashboard. So then the third question should be asked like, uh, where do they use this report or the dashboard? right so this project like uh, once you deliver this uh, dashboard to the consumer they might embed this in as part of their uh, uh, department for a regular day-to-day -day business operation so they could uh, use it for an executive uh, level uh, summary management right so it depends on where do they really need to use this dashboard so that we also need to understand who are the customers and the, who are the audience and based on which we would be able to uh, design our uh, reporting and then the next question could be asked around why so why is all about uh, why there is a need to come for this particular requirement right so that uh, we also know and understand what is the pain point behind this uh, project and what do they really need to get uh, ahead of this uh, like in order to sort out that issue right so what is uh, why did they actually choose this power bi and this project to be given to us and then the last question would be around uh, when so when do they expect to deliver this report so that we are also ensuring like uh, what is the timeline that is expected for this project delivery so these are the five important or the five key w's principle to ensure that during the business gathering discussion that we have with the business uh, all the required inputs have been captured and we know that what needs to be done on this requirement and how it can be dealt thereafter and when it should be delivered to the customer okay so let's get an uh, so get to know like uh, how do we get the business requirement so usually we get the business requirement in different ways one could be that uh, we could have a, a formal meeting where the business might try to explain about their use case and uh, help us to know what they really need to uh, answer it from the reporting perspective so it's just a verbal communication so there is no written communication that might happen over that discussion 
and therefore it is our responsibility to ensure that whatever that we discuss over that workshop or the meeting that we have with the business customer everything has been well documented and shared it uh, so and once we document all the requirements that we gather all the discussions that we had over the meeting we would need to share this in a written format send this across the business and have this written confirmation stating that all the points that had been mentioned or listed in the email are the right ones so this would ensure us uh, to provide the right uh, reporting standards that is expected instead of delivering something else and probably the business might have asked an xyz and they might come back and say that we have not asked for this and then we might have to undergo or uh, uh, redo the same process of developing the dashboard again and again so that would clarify on the confirmation part of the business requirement okay and um, once we have everything in place uh, so these questions might be framed like this so for our example purpose i have given some uh, business requirement like this so probably like uh, uh, the business might say that okay they would like to have an executive summary uh, with the respective questions that needs to be answered over the reports so let's see one by one so the first question that they would like to understand or uh, uh, get the answers from the reporters which month and year had the most profit okay so which specific duration of the uh, particular company had the most profit and then the second question is about where is the company seeing the most success by the respective state and then the third question is about which specific product and segment should the company continue to invest in so based on these three questions we would need to work on the reporting part and ensure that all this uh, information or all these uh, questions are being answered in the right format and are being delivered by the requested timeline 